Well, with media and experts ringing alarm bells on what the future of our work will look like and the radical changes due to automation on the horizon, Work, Passion, Power is a new book offering sound advice to help navigate the new work landscape. Now, to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe its authors, Max and Francis Hare. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. Pleasure to have you here. Yes. First up, before we start talking about the book, uh, let's talk a little bit about you two. I mean, why is this book so important to you both? We'd well, like to start. <laughs> so we, we collaborated on the book, so we add a lot of footnotes mm. <laughs> to each other. So um, we wrote it because we wanted to, it may sound a bit corny, but we wanted to really share the work we've been doing and uh, the work we've developed over the last 10, 15 years to make it more widely available. Mm. It's a really simple answer, mm. actually. And it's a book so that it's visible and can be used as a conversation point. Mm. You know, in families, you know, with anyone. This idea of what work do you do uh, is a much deeper question now than it ever has been. Mm. We talked about, you know, media and experts, you know, perhaps speculation and stuff like that, but for you, what are the real issues we're now facing mm. in the workforce? Well, one of them was mentioned with uh, Jesse. Um, you know, the, uh, there is a fair level, level of anxiety about what's happening in the world of work with automation, artificial intelligence, cognitive computing sort of taking over various tasks. Mm -hmm. um, to a degree, that's absolutely right, and there is, uh, it's very important that we stay on top of what is going on, but that's not the whole story by a long shot. <laughs> um, long, <clears throat> long shot. The tasks the t many tasks are being um, automated and will be more so. The tools are getting smarter. Mm. Uh, you know, our cell phones, so-called smartphones now, are full of, stuff, full of AI. Mm. But there's a whole other side of work, the, uh, the, what we call the, the, the human side or the soft skills side. And um, like we were saying with, uh, with Jesse, we didn't come in here just for the coffee. <laughs> you know, we came in for the charming manner in which she served us. Exactly, you know. exactly, and you can't get that from a machine. Uh, no. Francis, what do you think the timeline is or the time frame for these sort of radical changes that the workforce is going to go through? Well, I think we're seeing them already, and the time frame is now. Mm. It's really, really important that we're driving our own careers and our own future in a way that we perhaps never have before. So we're advocates of having... Um, like a six monthly, uh, six monthly or annual review of what you're up to, mm. rather than waiting for some calamity to happen. Mm. Is AI and automation people's main concern, or what is the, the main concern for people around, or, or rather the source of anxiety? Well, the AI automation one is definitely um, a popular, because everybody has heard or seen the headline, will a robot steal my job? Yeah. Yes. That's but the other one... Compelling. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. The other one really is, um, well, in a word, boredom. Mm. People are, to varying degrees, disengaged with their work. And it's a huge issue, and it's not a big headline, but it's... Um, it needs to be addressed, and it's, it's what you, to be engaged is what it takes to stay on top of your work. Mm. Because it's, if you're engaged, then what you do with your discretionary attention is you're looking ahead, you're inquiring, you are upskilling yourself, you're you know, learning more about different aspects of your work or other work. Mm. Mm. It's funny, but we have engagement surveys at my other place of work at the radio, uh, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, you say, though, that the current tools that we have or that we're using, um, they're not going to serve us in light of the, the future, the, the change that's going to impact our jobs. Why is that? I think this, the, this broad category of skill that we really need to embrace is the domain of soft skill. And it's about in using initiative and critical thinking and deep curiosity and innovation to a level we've never thought of before. So in a sense, we've really got to embrace entrepreneurial skills mm -hmm. and be thinking about problem solving and how we can do things differently, right. how we can innovate, like this yeah. program. Mm -hmm. Are we calling this a self-help guide? Yes, you can do. It's more than a self-help guide, though. Yeah. But it definitely is that. But it's also a really hard-headed, well-researched, serious attempt to enrich the conversation about what work is, what's possible with work. Mm. Work gets a really poor rap, mm. unfortunately. But there is a world of work that's out there that's possible, that's growing, that is hugely exciting. 
Mm. And in fact, like we just say, I mean, the millennial group, the uh, 20 to 36 year olds, they're the trailblazers, but this world of, this world of work that is fulfilling uh, is available for everybody yeah, if, if you really get with it. Because we do spend a long time at our workplace, don't we? Mm. I mean, how do you know that the strategies and the methods in this book are actually working? Ha. Good question. <laughs> we have been using them for a long, long time. And we do quite a lot of follow-up. Mm. And it's wonderful, the stories. It's really about teaching people how to think about their work rather than that specific career change. But this isn't how you do your job, what you need to change. This is just what your mindset that you need yes, to have while you're exactly. in the exactly. Mindset is a key term, actually, Mel. And the, the fact is, what, we have seen hundreds and hundreds of people and done follow up with lots of them. Not yeah. hundreds, but lots and lots of them. So we know what works. You've got the you've got the straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in. I am going to go home and read this cover to cover. I think I think <laughs> most people should too. A work passion power is available now from all good bookstores, and you can find out more at workpassionpower.co.nz. Thank you both so much for coming in.